morning everybody it's friday it's march 4th 2022 when i'm filming this it's about minus 16 degrees celsius outside about three degrees fahrenheit so it's a lot warmer than it's been I'm excited to get at it well i pulled in here on my way to my delivery uh, this is the deacon's corner petrol pass uh, this is just on the east side of winnipeg we're facing south right now so winnipeg's just over there and uh, a little change of plans, unexpected change of plans. If I would have known this, I wouldn't have started my e-log so early because now I'm burning hours, but it's okay. It's okay. <laughs> I was supposed to unload this freight at uh, around 8 a.m. in Winnipeg. And I stopped in here just, uh, you know, for a little bathroom break. And then I called the customer just to, you know, remind them, hey, I'm coming, just making sure everything's still good to go because it's kind of in a congested part of the city and it would be right during rush hour. So I didn't want to show up there uh, without them ready to unload me. Uh, so I gave them the heads up, said, hey, uh, come in with your stuff. We'll be there at 8 o'clock. Uh, like... And they're like, oh, uh, actually, we don't have anybody here to unload you right now. They all had to run out. Uh, uh, delivering to like a job site. And they all had to run out to jobs in other parts of the city this morning. I guess it was unexpectedly. It's not their fault. So... Uh, they can't unload me now until noon. Which, I mean, is fine for me. But I called in the boss there and said, hey, well, you know, I was ready to be unloaded first thing this morning, and uh, things changed, and now uh, they don't want to unload me until noon, and they need an appointment time. because It is a very small yard, and it's, like I said, congested area of the city. At least noon time won't be rush hour, but it is a congested area of the city. Uh, it's in St. James. And uh, they need me there at a specific time. And they want to make sure that they're there too. So they're going to be there at noon. So I'm going to show up there at about 11.45. 11.30, 11.45. Uh, which means I've got to sit and wait now. So uh, Friday morning. Hurry up and wait. <laughs> oh well. Guess I'll just go and surf TikTok for, for a while. You know, I downloaded this app as a joke. And now I can't stop watching TikToks. All right, Winnipeg, how are you feeling today? You gonna treat me nice or what? I'm gonna head down Notre Dame here. And I've gotta sort of uh, do a little bit of a loop and end up on Wall Street. That's where my uh, delivery point is. Hopefully traffic won't be too bad. It'll be a lot better and easier to get in there now than it would have been at 8 o'clock, to be honest. That's when I was going to be there originally. Oh, there's a dog over there. You see that on the fence? That little fence keeps that dog in. I would not trust that. He could literally just walk right over that. <laughs> but he's a good boy, and he stays in his little yard. Good boy. Oh, there's another one. Dogs are the best. Oh, it's a little house in there. That's what it is. Okay. Oh, we can't see him because of the snow banks and stuff now. These lanes are too narrow. They still haven't cleared the snow. I'm surprised that they haven't done that. They just sort of push it to the edge. What do we got going on up here? We got some kind of crane action coming up here. One second, I'm gonna get out of this lane. Yeah, I'm gonna... Oh, this is uh, the electricians working on the electric. Something like that, or maybe the phone lines. What do I know? Up there having fun in his little box. You notice my window's open. It's nice. It's minus eight Celsius outside right now. That is nice. Southbound down Aaron Street. Wall Street heads northbound that way. They're both one ways. I'm gonna have to turn that way at Wellington if I can. If not, then at Sargent, the next one after that. 
and do a U-turn, come back up the north side. Because my customer is right around here somewhere on the northbound side. So I'm gonna have to get into this left lane. I just hope that I'm gonna have the space needed to uh, make my left turn here. I might need to hog the whole road for a second, just in case. Yeah, I'm gonna need the whole road. All right, now hopefully nobody comes up to the stoplight here right as I'm making my move. I don't want anyone to come to that stop line there. I might have to get them to back up a little bit. Should be turning yellow any second here. There we go. Now this is gonna be green right away. Hopefully nobody comes up to the stop line. Okay, here we go. Take this whole road. Perfect. Oh, that worked out wonderful. Nobody even honked at me. Wow. That was a good day. Hey, it's a good day. It must be Friday. Big truck coming through. Coming through. Excuse me. Pardon me. Coming through. Big truck. Now I want to turn left here up Wall Street. I'm going to be a nice dude and wait for that Civic. I hope he hurries up. Come on, buddy. Come on, buddy. I'm already in the intersection. There we go. Okay, now it's up here on the left. So I'm gonna have to put my park anywhere and get away with the flashers on for a second here. And figure out where I'm gonna go in to load. My appointment was for noon. Almost late, we're still on time. We got here before noon. All right, so I've gotta back it in that driveway off the road here. So I'm going to position myself a little better here and we're going to get this trailer into their yard back there. I need this whole road. Hey, nobody's coming. I'm going to turn my backup lights on too so that people know I'm doing something. All right, here we go. Cut it really close to that snowbank there. I don't know if I'm gonna have the room for this. Yikes. I might need to try again. Here we go, now we got it. Now we got it. Right in there. Beautiful. Got a guy back there guiding me in. Give a thank you wave to everybody there who was waiting for me. See, that would have been hell in rush hour. That good? Uh, 
there goes the last piece. Yeah, getting onto this yard or backing into this yard on this road during rush hour, I completely understand why they changed their mind and said, no, we want you, uh, <laughs> we want you here at noon, not at eight. That would have been difficult. There would have been a lot of angry commuters, a lot of horns honking and not for the good kind of honking things either. No, not good honks. Yeah, we're all done, so I'm just gonna go get some paperwork and uh, be out of here. All right, now to get out of here. Should be the easy part, right? I can't drag my trailer over that snowbank. That's a little bit too big of a snowbank there. I'm gonna pull myself as far this way as I can. And hopefully I don't have to back up. Traffic is stopped over there at the light. Looks like I'll be okay. Oh yeah, for sure. Beautiful. Another successful delivery. Happy customers. I'm gonna go to a truck stop nearby. I haven't been able to get a hold of the boss yet to figure out uh, where I'm going from here. So I wanted to get out of their yard there. I was in their way. Find somewhere safe I can park and then uh, find out if he wants me to pick something up in Winnipeg here yet or head back to the yard. I don't want to head back if he has something in Winnipeg for me to pick up. That's just a bunch of wasted time. So he was just on the phone when I called him before. All right, watch it there, bud. Don't sneak between me and that snowbank. Don't do it. Good, good, good. All right, you never know, people usually do. They usually try to sneak in between you, especially on the passenger side. That's why I have so many mirrors, right? I've got the hood mirrors, which show me what's right beside my doors here and in the lanes beside me. I've got my convex mirrors at the bottom of these that show me a rounded uh, view of what's beside me. And then I got the big rectangle mirrors here, which show me uh, Well, also what's beside me. I don't know where I was going with that. All my mirrors show me what's beside me, just from different angles. That's what I was trying to say. <laughs> just the, the rounded mirrors, like the ones on the hood and these bottom ones here, they don't show you accurate depth. Uh, the depth perception's all off because they're rounded, just like the fisheye lens you're looking through right now, right? It's, uh, it doesn't give an accurate representation of how far away things are. These rectangle mirrors, uh, that's just a flat mirror. So that shows you much more accurately how far back people are. That's the best way I can explain it, I don't know. And then of course I got that mirror on top of that window there. That shows me if anybody's on my step or if there's a motorcycle right beside me. And this is always a fun intersection right here because this lane I'm in goes right, it also goes left. I'm going left. But if my light turns red and their light's still green, I have to stop here and then I block a lane of traffic that's going that way. But that's okay because I'm going this way. <laughs> it's just the way it is. Come on by me, buddy. I feel your pain with those gas prices. Driving a pickup truck, man. Gas prices this morning were a dollar sixty-five a liter in Manitoba. That is astronomical. Out in British Columbia, it's at two dollars a gallon or higher already. And for Canada, those are astronomical prices. That is the equivalent of four dollars seventy-eight cents U.S. per U.S. gallon. Dollar sixty-five a liter. So that's what I'm paying here at home, four seventy-eight a gallon for my uh, for my American friends. So we're testing out our uh, pressure washer on the truck here, washing the truck outside. Ran out of gas, but I got this side sprayed down at least. You can see it's sort of icing up on the side of the truck. That's okay, I expected it to do that. 
The only thing I'm trying to do is to get all of the, the main dirt off. You can see the frame back here is not clean, but a lot cleaner, right? Like I said, I was in a bit of a rush. Uh, I don't have any extra gas here with me. And I used up what I had. So I've got to do the back of this yet. I'll come back tomorrow and finish this on Saturday. So, uh, yeah. This front here, all of this chrome just needs to be wiped down and polished. Shined up a little bit. And then I gotta spray the dirt off of this side. You can see the difference, eh? Man. On the frame here, you'll really see the difference from the other side. Look at this. As opposed to uh, the other side that I got sort of cleaned off. See that? That's what it's, it's supposed to be black. <laughs> so I'm gonna try to get into uh, a good rhythm. I'm gonna have to get some new hose. Uh, I had to, one of my hoses here had a small little hole in it. So I had to throw it out. So I still have these two left, one there, one here. But they don't roll up very well. They're very stiff, they're very cheap. I think I paid like 10 bucks for them. Probably 10 bucks for them both. I gotta get some real proper hose and uh, get a good system going. Because what I'd like to do at the end of the day is always spray off the truck, get all the, the big dirt off just like this. And then when I come in early in the morning, before I start, I can quickly give it a hand rinse or a hand, a hand shine, right? Scrub it down by hand real quick and it'll be easy because all this big dirt will be off of here. And that's sort of my plan of uh, how I'm going to keep the truck clean and shining every day. It's not going to be easy, especially in wintertime. Like this, all this dirt could be just from one day. It's not, but I mean, the truck could look like this after just one day. So every day is going to be a challenge, especially in the coldest parts of winter. But you know what we do when we're faced with a challenge? We find a way to overcome it and how to beat it. Well, so far, we're doing pretty well, I think. We're finding ways. And this isn't the truck I'm going to be driving permanently either. My truck is officially going in for safety next week. <laughs> Whenever they get to it, they were, uh, they safetyed one of the other, my truck in 2025, both needed a safety. They started on 2025 first. So I got to wait, but in the meantime, I'm driving these Western stars, either 3079 or 3088 on Monday. I'm supposed to be going down to the U S I have a, a load of trusses that's going down to Moorhead or down to Fargo, North Dakota. And I'm going to be checking the truck that looks like this, but it's 3088. It's got the beacons cause it's going to be a wide load. And uh, it's the deck truck. Right. So I'm going to wash this truck for them, get it all nice and cleaned, detailed on the inside tomorrow. And then I'm going to bring it back for uh, whoever gets assigned to this truck. Maybe it'll be you. Who knows? At least it'll be clean and ready and waiting for you. And then I'll grab 3088 and I'll do the same thing to that truck. So that truck is clean, shining and detailed. Uh, not to take work away from our regular detailer. We have a regular detailer who comes in and details our trucks. I'm not I'm not gunning for your job, but don't worry. <laughs> I'm only going to be taking care of the trucks that I'm assigned to. We have a guy who comes in and details our trucks, and he does a phenomenal job. He actually uh, details my personal vehicles, too. He's done our terrain before. He does a great job. He's from uh, the same area as me. But uh, no, I'm not going to take work away from him because I can't do all of our trucks. We have <laughs> a lot of trucks. But whatever truck I'm entrusted with, whichever truck I'm assigned to, uh, that, I'm, uh, that I'm given... Uh, I want to take that responsibility to shine them up a bit for the next driver. That way, when they assign me a truck, they know. Like, oh, we're giving Josh this truck. It'll come back cleaner than and better than he got into it, right? I always like it when drivers do that. You know, you, you borrow your vehicle to someone or someone uses your truck, and it comes back in better condition than when they borrowed it, when they first took it. It's always a nice feeling, right? I want to try to, try to do that. Anyways, enough yapping here. I'm gonna finish this truck up tomorrow on Saturday and get it all nice and cleaned up for them. And then uh, we'll talk to you later. I'm gonna head home. I did request uh, to go down to the US if they had any loads for me this weekend. They didn't have anything going this weekend, so that's okay. We got plenty of work to do right here. <laughs>